Internet, it's your boy Mark T from that Mark and Rob TV. What's up, Internet? It's your boy Rob T from that Mark and Rob TV. What's up, YouTubers? If y'all hadn't subscribed, we would love for y'all to click that yellow button. Check us out, man. Oh, check us out, man. I just want to send a shout out to everybody who sent us some emails about this subject, man. Let's get into it, man. Yeah, man. Last week we didn't really check in that much, but that boy Usher, man. He dropped that song, talking about, I'm ready to sign these papers, these papers, these papers. And I, it just started me, th I, I start thinking, man, I, I'm looking at all these, these incidents with these people on, on, on TV and on the, um, on the radio. Man, this boy, John and Kate plus eight, they going off too, man. Going off, going off. Uh, even your boy Joe Button, man. Joe Button and, and his girlfriend, they uh, have this, this public breakup, man. And I'm I'm like, that's that's that's, that's going off, man. It seems like one person in the relationship keep putting this stuff out there, keep putting it out there, keep putting it out there. They want to be in front of the camera. That boy John, John and Kate plus eight. Um, I was checking out E.T., man. This boy was showing the emails of what the lady said to him, man. Man, what, what happens, man? Usually when two people get together, I mean, it's, it's for love, it's a, for friendship, companionship, or something. But what happens when the relationship ends up like these relationships have ended up? I don't know, man. I, I, I think... You just gotta do some research first, man. You gotta do some research or something, man. That boy uh, Usher was like, uh, almost damn near lost my mama behind this relationship. And I heard the other day on TMZ or something like that, man, he called the cops on this on his ex-wife, and uh, he wrote the song about him putting a business out there. And I mean, this boy Tiari, I mean Tiari and Joe Budden. They on interviews and he called up and uh, she talked about the relationship in front of the whole world, man. I think that's that's crazy right there, man. You know what? You know what? You know what? A lot of times when people get together and sometimes other people come in a relationship and then that starts. I mean, that's the beginning of all of this other stuff. So many experts, people that's not happy in their relationship trying to tell you how to be happy in your relationship. Yeah, man, you put all that business on the street. I ain't never been no person to put my business out there like that, man. I mean, you, if you know me, you don't, you don't know nothing about me and my wife. We don't, I don't, I don't talk about her stuff and uh, I don't think she talk about my stuff because it don't be getting back to me, but I mean, whenever you put your business out there, you always got some experts. You always oh, yeah. got somebody with some advice. And the thing that gets me are these people, say for instance, you marry. Yeah. And then um, you have a single person telling you how to be married. That's oh, throwing man. off right there, oh. man. Or you have a married person whose marriage is not good trying to tell you how your marriage should be. Oh. Or you have somebody that's divorced trying to tell you how to be married. It's, I mean, that when you open yourself up and put your business out out there, man, people, they, a lot of people be unhappy anyway, and, and misery loves company. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. if they, they bought it, if they single, they ain't got nobody, they, a lot of people want to see you single too. Oh yeah, and then you have those who are looking for opportunities to try to come into your marriage too or whatever to do their thing too, you know how that goes. Oh yeah, creeping in and, and, oh, yeah. and hollering in your ear and, and uh, hey, what's up, he ain't treating you right oh, and yeah. all this old stuff, you know how they do. But uh, another thing, man, I don't know, the ladies, y'all, y'all, I, I don't want y'all to get mad at me, but another thing is, man, I just don't think it could be a 50-50 marriage, man. Oh. I, I hear that all the time. I want a 50-50, 50-50, uh, half and half, equal. I just think, man, oh. that relationships, it has to be somebody that's, that's a leader in the marriage. Definitely. You got to have somebody that leads and somebody that follows. I'm not saying that it has to be the man all the time because a lot of marriages, the woman, the the, the man like follow behind what the woman say and 
that's just not my belief. If it worked for them, hey man, that whatever floats your boat. But I think that it always needs, it, it have to be somebody that's a little bit ahead, man. Yeah. You know what, when it's two leaders, it's actually what, Clash of the Titans or yeah, something man. like that, man. You're gonna butt heads and, I mean, it's always a, a, a always a battle, a constant battle. And uh, just say you got two followers. Don't nobody, everybody waiting on somebody else to make the first. I mean, even in business, man, in business where it's one CEO yeah. and a group of managers, you manage this department, you manage this department, you manage this department, but it's one CEO. It's not co-CEOs, it's one CEO. Or even it's a, it's a manager, then you have assistant managers, then you have a lower level manager, then you have supervisors, then you have yeah. this, that, and the other. But it, it, it has to be one, one leader, and even if, uh, in a relationship where it's gay people, somebody is is still the leader. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I mean, so that's that's one thing that that uh, I never really believed in that 50-50. Even if it's 51-49, it's almost equal. Somebody got to be the final decision. Yeah, and you know what? When things get so out of whack, people they look at each other and say, "What happened?" But you know, when God set it up, man, he had a fail-proof plan. And when you deviate from that plan, what happens? You're destined to fail. Destined. And that's what happens. That boy Usher was talking about, uh, I almost lost my mama. Huh. Man, I, I'm not gonna say no names, but it's somebody that's kind of close to me. And uh, he was with this girl. They wasn't married, but he was with this girl. Left. He, he lost contact with his family for almost two years, huh? Almost two years. And uh, he just, he lost contact basically because of the woman. I mean, the woman and his mom didn't really get along, so he kind of gave up his family for two years. And uh, that's crazy, man, to me. If somebody come in trying to get you away from your family, trying to isolate you from your family, trying to uh, keep you away from your family, uh, I think that's that's setting yourself up for failure too, man. Definitely, definitely. But uh, I don't know why we went off on this uh, stuff about relationships, man, but it's, I just heard that Usher song, man, and, and one of the local DJs from H-Town, man, he was going off talking about the divorcees have a new anthem, man. Okay. And that boy, uh, Usher, he probably did. I know it's gonna be all kind of people talking about, I'm ready to sign them papers, the papers, the papers. Yeah, man, but that's all I really wanted to talk about. It ain't too much in the news. We just wanted to come at y'all with that, man. You have anything else? Oh, no, man, we just wanna say thank y'all for watching, man. Yeah, thank y'all for watching. And um, peace, man. Uh, if y'all have any um, comments, leave some comments about anything we said. What, I mean, what, what y'all think about the 50-50? Am I right or wrong, man? Yeah, what y'all think about the, the leadership? I mean, who who's who should be the leader in a relationship? Yeah, uh, you think it should be a leader or everybody should be equal? Uh, what about people that, uh, what about people that's giving y'all this advice, especially somebody that's like single trying to give a married person advice and all this kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, man, so leave comments, holler at your boys, and we out, man. Uh, Peace. Peace out. Come on, man. Just, you can't be able to be. All right, go. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm. Hello. Come Wait. on, man.